Hey, Fudge. Tyler. Back at it. Tyler. What do we got in the bay today? Well, what we have in the bay is an X3M. Bow. Pre-LCI. Bow. So, we're going to put an exhaust on it. And what exhaust we got? The Dude, your lift just sunk. Did you hear it? Yeah, my lift's like the Titanic. It keeps sinking. We have to stay on the ship as long as possible. Come on. So sorry. What exhaust we got? Although the Titanic was only sunk once, this is, this keeps sinking. So I don't know. That's good. Anyway, Valvtronic. It's French for Valvtronic. Nice. Yeah. So and what do we got? A full cap back going on? We have a full cap back uh, with the wired in remote system Woo! so we got the bling blau goes to the box Woo! electronic box no pneumatic stuff around here um takes up power and ground off of that these go to the valves that are already attached to our muffler system sweet so they come with them um yeah so we have seen the yellow x3m from a couple videos ago a few yep. videos ago that was a full titanium Valtronic. Yep. Um, unfortunately, we didn't install that, but we did pair it with downpipes. This car has stock downpipes. Okay. So this is a good um, representation in case you're look you have an X3M and yep. you're looking at exhaust to want to get. Um, a lot of people are liking the Valtronic stuff for the G series, the F series, whatever. Um, and I think it's because so of the blend. The blend. The, the one pipe in the middle. I feel like it sounds. I don't know, it gets a little bit rid of that rasp that these have. Well, thanks for your input, Tyler. No problem, Fudge. Okay. Anyway, so this will be a great representation in case you're thinking about buying this exhaust. So I'm going to start by pulling off the stock exhaust, get this on there, and then we'll go from there. Let's do it. All right, Fudge, we got everything laid out here. Meanwhile, you're eating breakfast. What do you got no, I'm just looking today? at pictures you put up of other people. Why are you Bro, Dylan's got to get some love. He's out. <laughs> he's out. Oh, he's back. He's back. All right, Fudge, what do we got here? You want to... <laughs> and we're back. All right. So, we have a lot of pipes. Yep. Um, looks complicated. It's not. Okay. Right to the down pipes. Yep. Goes back. It's this Y pipe. Then it will go into these two connecting pipes, I believe. Okay. Or some one of these, I don't know. Connecting pipes. This pipe, this pipe, this pipe, something okay. will go. Yeah. Meet the muffler. Bow bow. Tips. A lot, a lot, a lot of adjustability with the, the tips. Um, you're going to be able to go in and out with the tip. You're going to be able to swing it in and out this way. Yep. So, and then this is the blend I was talking about. Oh. So typically this is a split and two pipes. It comes in like a, you know how it comes in. Um, well, we could show them. It's a split. Two pipes. Yep. So this one has already had like the resonators messed with and stuff. So that's why there's V-bands. Yeah. Your stock exhaust will not have these V-bands, so Correct. don't don't pay attention to that. Um, but yeah, two but yeah, pipes, the slit. and then it splits all the way back, and the only time it actually blends is in the muffler itself. Right. So. And then on the Valtronic, we got that nice blend. Valtronic. Wow. And then it blend. splits near the end. Yep. Let's get this thing on, Fudge. Bye bye.
That was horrible chronic. fitment. How was it, bud? Horrible fitment. On the tips, horrible. If you're planning on getting this exhaust, plan to spend at least an hour adjusting the, the tips and the tip pipes because it is a ginormous waste of time. It sounds great, and it everything sounds... else fits pretty good, but this is not acceptable. I'm just gonna put that up. Well, can, we get, to can we get everyone's favorite part, Fudge? Sure. Wait, Derek, can you? Yo, Derek, can Cold you star. Yo, Tyler, can you prime this real quick? Fudge is on the other side. Can you start it, Fudge? Nick, cold star. Oh, we're getting a cold star on the Jetta with the tattoo. Cold star. Little rev. <laughs> Nick. Nick. This thing's got a tattoo on it. See the tattoo? Mike Tyson B. <laughs> Cold start, bud. They're only in lunch, bro. Yeah, we're gonna pull it out. We'll get revs, flybys, everything. Let's go. Cold start. Thank God it wasn't the part that Brett caught the wrong one. <laughs> Sorry. What? You ruined the cold start by instantly putting it in drive. I care about the people eating lunch. I don't. There was no cold start. Oh, Alan's got to move his no, bike. No, there was. There was. Alan. Alan. No. Yeah. Real <laughs> yeah, you are. All right, let's go on and test drive. All right, Fudge. Well, it was a pain in the ass to install, but it sounds great. Here's the valves closed. Here's the valves open. <laughs> So I made a mistake before. The car does have downpipes, uh, but they're high flow catted. So if you have OEM cats, it should be semi similar, maybe a little less raspy. Okay. Definitely Yo, that's tuned. some that's some verbal that's some bro. Good stuff right there. Wow. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Got valves closed. Valves open. Valtronic. Get in the car. Thanks, Fudge. All right. Oh, oh. Whoa. This thing sounds like. The squatty mat. Thanks, Fudge. Oh, sorry. You're still. We'll see you guys in the next video. Whoa. He was. <laughs> Yo, that thing was all in ass, dude. <laughs>